All right, so coming back to my market for bread, you can hopefully tell by looking at this graph that bread has gone on sale. We have had a change in price. It's been lowered. Look, we've gone down along our price axis. We've had a change in quantity demanded. It has increased. We have gone to the right on the quantity demanded axis. Because bread is on sale, complementary goods will increase in sales and increase in demand but substitute goods will actually decrease. So pitas, which are a substitute for bread, there's something else I can stuff my sandwich foods into, will actually go down in demand. So the market for pitas will decrease in demand. The price of pitas has not changed. However, People don't want to buy pitas because bread is on sale, so they'll buy bread instead. This has led to a decrease in demand for pitas, so the demand here will change, which means at the same price, I'm going to sell less pitas uh, because people don't want them. They're buying the substitute good instead. So the price for bread went down. The quantity demanded for bread went down. The price for bread went down. The demand for substitutes went down because I'm going to buy bread, the original good, instead.